Sell my game. Sell some. Snoop came back in the middle. That's ain't gonna do. Man, niggas ain't back in 10 game of face. Some gotta give. Man, that dude type, man. Bah, bah, bah. This shit crazy. We got motherfucking robbery that rocked Atlanta. See, your boy, Woody, he, he, he out doing uh, 20 v ones and shit. I think eating up that shit, too. E. He, he a free man. Free the game, long little drink. Long little girl, my slide, long, long, Corona. Free Jerry. Hello, oh, man. Free Baloney. Here in Metro Atlanta. <laughs> 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 I'm talking about 50 in my head. Just, just shitting on them. Shitting on niggas, but this shit weak, folks. Ain't no way, man. Man, y'all, that's y'all. They ain't subscribing. They ain't no shit. Ain't, no, ain't on nothing, man. I don't man. see it for real, man. He trying to grind hard, Sean. Many indictments. No, we still have one outstanding. 22-year-old Kari Kelly from Decatur. Valle says Kelly is suspected of yeah, felony crime not. related to gang activity. <laughs> yeah, charges right. including the indictment are armed robberies, carjackings, aggravated assaults, yeah, felony murder, bad. and more. Hey. Hey. From a whole nother state, I sent my real, my, 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 my sandbox partner the paperwork and show these niggas what he's telling. A nigga just say, when that was some other shit, like a nigga tried to, man, I don't care what a nigga tried to do, man. If a nigga tell him, ain't no way of justifying that shit. Nigga snitching, bro, a nigga a rat, bro. We can't justify that, bro. Hell, bro. I don't understand, man. Then nigga, nigga, every day, and then turn around and got down. Oh, these niggas just broke in the spot. These niggas? Yeah. You want to fuck? Second off, bro, nah, all that Gwinnett. I don't know no nigga from Gwinnett. See, y'all niggas keep shit gay. And Peso, you in here doing a trip, closing your pants, bro. Doing the then you keep giving niggas chance out the chance. Nigga, I don't want to be none of y'all nigga partner, bro. I ain't trying to be cool with none of y'all nigga, bro. Y'all niggas keep selling y'all jewelry. Nigga, keep giving y'all nigga jewelry. Y'all selling y'all chains. Jewelry <laughs> chain, niggas selling them. All rich chain, niggas selling them. Somebody about. doing insurance fraud. Come on, bro. Rich Pop is a rat. You hanging with this nigga. Y'all nigga on Instagram promoting this nigga music. This nigga a police, man. What are y'all doing? What part of the street this is, man? Y'all niggas ain't. Boy, I love you. I wouldn't be your big brother if I didn't. Y'all know you know that. Boy, I love you. Why, what the fuck is this? Y'all niggas ain't got to worry about nothing. Straight. What the fuck is this, though? I just been playing broke to the hall. That's all. No, that's something, bro. What's wrong with him? What is going on? This Atlanta? Bro, it's Atlanta. Real balls, take care. Yeah, you fresh as hell. These niggas don't lie to buy fresh as hell. You fresh as hell. Man, you know it. You got the hard truth. Please, These yo. days, it's common for you to call the person who once crossed you your friend at one point in time. It's safe to say you at your best when you operate alone. But in today's video, we have to talk about an Atlanta rapper who want to run. After his crew was indicted with the Rico and him being the last to be apprehended. It's now going on six months. And this Atlanta rapper seems to make social media headlines after allegedly backdooring his pocket. Not to mention, the guy he chose to hang with been having snitching allegations for some time now. But this alleged snitch is the same guy who allegedly helped him live while he was on the run. Now within the last 24 hours, this Atlanta rapper seems to have been post the jury he stole. Even go as far as wearing the same clothes as the guy that he stole from. I can't Man. make this up, family. So in this video, we're going to discuss it all. The this recent charges. Who that that shit. Yeah, he want to wear it. Nigga want to wear it, bro. Y'all niggas be killing me, bro. Like, what the hell? Nigga want to wear dead nigga jewelry. I don't get it. I don't get it. Oh, Flip that shit and get money. Like, come on, bro. Sell it to somebody. Yeah. The ball, the Atlanta rapper who's still on the run. So before we break this one down, remember, I don't give you no angle. I just give you the story. So with that being said, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. We're going to jump right to it. Imagine helping your dog out while he on the run. Then he back door you. RX, <laughs> drug rich. According to a recent indictment a couple months ago, a gang who allegedly break into houses caused a major disruption in the Atlanta community. Apparently, according to the indictment, it's the same gang who allegedly broke into the pop star Mariah Curry home in Atlanta. Two dozen gang members, and now 
their leader. They're accused in a string of violent robberies, including one here at Mariah Carey's home in Sandy Springs. And police say they've been targeting mansions belonging to entertainment, sports, and social media stars here in Metro Atlanta. Channel 2 Steve Gelbach is live in Sandy Springs right now, where this investigation, Steve, it took almost a year. And Linda, it includes 16 homes here in Sandy Springs, many more around the metro from Buckhead to DeKalb, taking things like cash, guns, jewelry, and other high-end luxury items. The police here say they now have put that to a stop. High-profile victims include celebrities like this house owned by Mariah Carey, homes of Atlanta United and Falcons players, and other That's social why they media and reality stars. Into, Sandy Springs steady. police say they identified 24 gang Blast members responsible for a rash of home invasions, robberies and burglaries catching four in this stakeout last month don't you move and at the home of a mother who has children with the rapper right. future they're Crazy. not afraid to confront people so if they target a house and you happen to be there these individuals are armed and they've been entering the home and causing the home invasions to take place and they've been confronting the homeowners police say they even shot a homeowner during this home no invasion on july 4th since then oh, they've been trying wow. to find this man Jeremy Caldwell, known as J Rock. He's been the ringleader. He's been J -Rock the one that's been is organizing. The J Rock. <laughs> J Rock, you Caldwell fuck. And two others, Terry on Anderson and Jalen Huff, arrested late last week in Miami. Huh? Huh? Detectives huh? from Sandy Springs went down to Florida to interview them over the weekend. <laughs> Monday morning, a Fulton <laughs> County grand jury indicted two dozen gang oh, members shit. on a total of 220 charges. We're moving forward with a Dang. recent case as well as gang charges. 200 uh, charges? Aggravated too. assault, armed robbery, possession of a firearm. Up to 24 Our police have arrested 20, years. but promised to so. capture and actively are looking for the oh, last dude. four suspected gang members. Yeah, and after that arrest <laughs> last month, police say Trying most of these gang members, Ryan they left Harry the area, they went down, shit. some of them to Florida, and that's when they say all these robberies, burglaries, and home invasions stopped. Now they do have those three still down in the Miami area. They're going to be brought back here, booked into the Fulton County Jail. Live in Sandy Springs, Steve Gelbach, Channel 2 Action News. All right, Steve. But as you can see, only three men was arrested. Some say that's when the snitching began. That was only a couple months before the indictment on the drug rich RX game. But before we go over that, we have to discuss one of the leaders of RX, RX Hector, who earlier this year exposed the allegations of the snitch from New York, who allegedly a part of the RX crew based out of Atlanta, Georgia. RX Hector, some say allegedly founded RX with RX Peso. Some say Hoover's Pablo Wong is a part of that man, as well. Like RX he Hector the had went to niggas. Instagram Live before he was arrested for the recent Rico and said the following. Ain't did. Niggas drug rich. Niggas over there doing, they doing drug rich. Them niggas ain't R rich. That's why I changed my name, bro. Call they going on. Niggas on Instagram hanging out with snitches and shit. Niggas can't be my partners doing shit. Niggas can't, I can't claim that because, you feel what I'm saying? Hanging out with snitches then and y'all supposed to be my folks and y'all supposed to be gang. How does a nigga got down? You feel what I'm saying? The sense, bro. All that counterfeit around, cap in the net. If y'all be player, now that what y'all going for. Now, we ain't going for that shit. Ain't nobody paperwork. You feel what I'm saying? Like... That's RS ain't from Gwinnett County. You feel me? Like, I don't, you know what I'm saying? I don't. <laughs> like, I'm really. It just about her fake claiming the game. Bro, that's a ain't game for real. I don't be no fake hoes. They call me and try to justify the snitching. <laughs> like, well, I don't even want no parts of this. He's gonna lie. lie. He, he don't tell me real. Everybody they need to just talk around. I call him and say, bro, nigga snitching, bro. Nigga say, oh, we gonna do it. We gonna handle it, nigga. Don't handle it. Fucking the spot. I just lose 4,000, 30,000 dollars worth of Schmidt tape. I'm tired of being cool with y'all. About that, y'all niggas got a nigga screaming drug rich from a whole nother state. I sent my real my 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 my, my sandbox partner the paperwork and show you niggas the paperwork of a nigga telling me he telling what a nigga tried to do, man. <laughs> Ain't no way of justifying that snitching, bro. A nigga a rat, bro. We can't justify that. But this point, all y'all nigga, I only first and second off, bro. All that go net net. So y'all niggas keep stepping all these go net and pesos. You in here doing the trip, closing your fingers, man. Y'all nigga, bro. They keep giving nigga chance out the chance and nigga selling they chain. They keep giving y'all nigga chain. Y'all nigga selling y'all chain, bro. I'm, I'm I'm cool on all that, bro. I don't want to do none of y'all nigga talking, bro. I ain't trying to be cool with none of y'all nigga, bro. Y'all nigga keep selling y'all jewelry. Nigga keep giving y'all nigga jewelry. Y'all selling y'all chains. Jewelry chain, nigga selling them. Already chain, nigga selling them. Talking about they doing insurance fraud. Come on, bro. Rich pop is a rat. You him promoting this nigga music. This nigga a police, he man. His name to Rich what y'all doing? What part of the street this is, man? Y'all niggas ain't finna assassinate my character. And we're gonna stop RX Hector as he went on for some time now. But you guys can point. And the guy like, RX what the fuck is wrong? the guy from New York that you guys see above who he claims is a snitch. 
Now what RX Hector is referencing to is the RX Poppy, aka Chester Roscoe statement he made in 2018, April 4th. RX Poppy had allegedly told a statement to authorities that someone pointed a rifle at him and wanted to shoot him at 1583 J Street on April 4th, 2018 at approximately 720 p.m. He also alleged that someone shot up his house at around 930 p.m. And that statement Damn. is true, but this is what R.S. Poppy had to say to the allegation you about R.S. Hector calling him a snitch. Mother, I'm not get straight crip. I'm not jacking that. I don't want nothing to do with that. I don't want nothing to do with it. This... I'm not jacking nothing. I'm not jacking nothing. Word of my mother. Tell me jack crip under him. Same mouth me. Same, same nigga. Is Niggas is crazy. Don't tie my name in nicer. I'm a gangster. Big homie dubbed you because you did bad. Nah, I don't want to hang with the him. World. I don't want to kick it with world, him. And a bunch of broke. But I do because I get money for real. For real. <laughs> Bro. This from Peso. I listed these. This is from Damn, RX Peso. Like, what it said? Nose off. He, on February Hell, 1st, he had posted. You can see what I saw. And so he said, ain't talking about heck. Talk to me, ain't man. talking about heck. What he said? He already done got right. You good? He got the info. What I say? He don't act like it though. Now I'ma stop it there. But that was RX Poppy in March of 2023 talking about RX Hector. Now remember when RX Hector kept saying he don't mess with Gwinnett County or people from Gwinnett County? It seems he knew something before the public did. Because on that same month, March 13, 2023, Gwinnett police announced 25 arrests linked to 56 gang and drug rich gang. And that's why some say the three people who was arrested only months before for the house break-ins, especially for Mariah Carey House and celebrities, it seems they may have been the icing on the cake and charging our and drug rich of Rico. 25 suspects in Gwinnett County. Uh, police have now linked them to two gangs known as the drug rich and 56 gang. They have all been indicted and arrested. Investigators have accused the suspects of violent crimes and racketeering across Metro Atlanta. Yeah, and right now, Gwinnett police are searching for one or more suspects in the case who are still on the run. Teresa Bowles has the details of this year long investigation. It started with crimes along Boggs Road in Duluth, and Gwinnett police tell me it recently led to a 210 count indictment. Criminal gang street activity threatens our community, our citizens, and our schools, and Gwinnett County will continue to work tirelessly to ensure that uh, those uh, participating or acting in these acts will be prosecuted. And it started with putting these 25 suspects behind bars three days ago. After a year-long investigation, Gwinnett County Police Department, along with the help of eight other agencies, noticed shootings here along Fox Road in Duluth appeared to be linked to two rival gangs, Blitz and the 56 Gang. Though many of the alleged gang members are now locked up, Kadeshi Valle with Gwinnett County Police says officers are still looking for an additional suspect. We're glad that we were able to get as many indictments we still have one outstanding. 22-year-old Kari Kelly from Decatur. Valle says Kelly is suspected of felony crime related to gang activity. Charges included in the indictment are armed robberies, carjackings, aggravated assaults, felony murder, and more. Back in December, Valle says the case turned into a RICO investigation and a grand jury returned a 210 count criminal indictment taking 25 alleged gang members off the streets and letting the community feel safer at home. We are hoping that the initiative with the gun crime unit and gangs, uh, it starts going down. Valle says if anyone knows anything about where can our website 11 Alive is R.A. Right, Jano yeah, even managed to crazy. drop a video called Man. Kick It Drop on the same month that his crew got indicted for Smart a recall. Free little yank. That's what I did. Free little nation. Free little yank. Free little yank. Long little drink. Long little girl. My slide. Long, long corona. I'm still kind of lost. <laughs> so I'm still like, I don't. Oh, so, you missed the so, ass. Yeah, the fuck out of here. Just too raw, too.